Okay. I've never done this before, so can is anyone on live with me? Um, if you are, can you just uh, put down a comment to let me know that you can hear me? Hmm. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm not sure who's joining me, but my name is Sue Pagan, and I'm so, so honored to be here with you all, and I'm also a bit nervous. I'm on vacation with my family in upstate New York at an Airbnb, so I'm not in my ideal spot, but I am making it work. So, um, thank you all for coming to our and to our beautiful hostess, Abigail, for creating this brilliant and sacred container for us all to share with each other. I am happy to be contributing something to the energy soup, as you said in the opening, Abigail. Um, and all the, you know, organizing you did and the promotions, I'm really, really uh, grateful. So, and your first reading, Isis happens to be one of the guides that, um, that I work with often. So let's see if she comes through in the channeling of the light language. Anyways, like I said before, my name is Sue Pagan. And um, I wanted to share a little bit. I just moved back from Hawaii um, to the mainland in New Jersey to be with my family. And one of the things, one of the many things I learned while I was in Hawaii was that you're, when your soul is getting ready to be born, it chooses your first name as um, a guide to what your soul purpose is. And so I've researched that Susan means bringing others through the light, through the darkness and into the light. And in case um, I wasn't, I was kind of thick and I didn't get the um, information, uh, my last name, my maiden name is Pagan, which means, you know, witchy. So in my witchy ways. Um, I'm also a psychotherapist. I've been practicing for 25 years now um, and in 2012 I started to feel as though I was gonna die and so I really felt a huge expansion a huge shift coming and I started to um, be pulled in the direction of energy healing um, I was going to do Reiki healing and I ended up in a full month-long training with Eden Energy Medicine and that just opened a door to me, for me, to the energy world. And I've been seeing energy and studying all sorts of different um, uh, modalities since then. And uh, kind of working on integrating them all at the same time um, and creating one of just what I do in the moment. Um, so... In terms of light language, somewhere in that 2012 period, a friend of mine uh, had been exposed to light language, but a friend of mine began speaking, and I could hear and understand with my mind what she was saying, which is not the way that it comes to me when I'm actually speaking light language. I could understand everything, so my, my role in the groups that her and I did together was to be sort of a translator. And once that, um, I kind of took that role for quite a while. And then I was getting ready to move to Hawaii in 2016. And I would hear things, I could be walking in the woods and I would hear, call your cat in light language. And I would be like, mm, okay. And so I would call, you know, I would say something in light language and my cat would just come running out of the woods like, yeah, what do you want? And so I spent a lot of my time talking to plants and trees and uh, pets in light language. And I was too nervous to share it with uh, people. And then one day I just, I just shared in a, in a retreat. My friend was speaking and I, I, I heard her say, um, 
I heard in the light language, I heard them say, it's time for you to speak. And so I started slowly but surely. When I moved to Hawaii, I, I began doing groups. Um, and then I started also working with rocks and corals. So I brought one of my corals with me today. It's in the shape of a heart. And I would hold the coral and do light language. And I found a cool picture where the light was coming out of the coral. But, um, and then I would, and then people would go home with them. And sometimes there would be writings that would go with that. Um, and sometimes not. It would just be an activated um, piece of nature for them to use and place on their body or to assist them in whatever they were going through. Um, and a couple years of living, within a couple of years of living in Hawaii, um, I had had two accidents that were very close together and I was, um, I had PTSD and it was pretty, it was pretty intense and I ended up um, realizing at that time that I was using energy work and light language to leave my body and to go out in the ethers and get get high on energy and it was not conducive to my healing so I took some time off and so I really really worked on embodying and healing the PTSD in me and I'm, that's still a work in progress but I am strong enough now to be back and to be embodying light language and bringing it through my physical body for all of you and myself as well. Um, so, uh, the way I see light language, it's different every single time, but I see different sometimes geometric shapes that will come out of my hands or be created by the signing and movement of my hands and patterns and colors. And when I'm delivering the energy to someone's energy field or a group's energy field, um, the energy is received. And then it's kind of like they say plants or essential oils are adaptogenic. Your energy field receives it and then begins this beautiful dance where the energies are interacting and connecting and co-creating and moving through the system to help release um, and open and do whatever. Um, it's, there's so, so many layers. It's so multifaceted and just so multidimensional and beautiful. I can't really, so much is happening so quickly. I don't always know everything. Well, I don't that's for sure. Um, so I've been keeping my gifts pretty quiet and not getting out to a wider audience. Um, I do meditations and activations along in my therapy practice. I do small groups for inner child work. Um, and I really, really, really love it. But I have been hesitant to get out to a wider group of people. Um, and so I'm often asked to sing, and I'm not the best singer, and I get pretty shy and embarrassed about it. Um, but at the start of January, I felt this like overwhelming intensity and urgency. And the messages that I was receiving was that I needed to share my light language with more people. We need more people to be activated. And I've always like pondered and wondered and talked with my friends about the true purpose of light language. And I know, I know it's multi-layered. And I know one of the purposes is activation. Um, but I was clearly told in January that we as a planet will be needing an activated inner guidance system that is so strong within each person in their bodies. And that more people are needing to have that seed of light within their bodies turned on. And that somehow I have a role in that. I don't know the reason for this, but I trust it. Um, so 
it's time for us to be learning to rely on our own sovereign inner guidance and our personal connection with the divine right here at home in our own bodies and I think because I went through that trauma and going out of my body and dissociating I was able to really cherish and I, I'm more able to guide in that direction as well so I was gifted I don't I don't always get to know exactly all of it most of the time I don't um, but I was gifted with knowing I have a part in this so here I am and thank you all for hearing my story and listening and being here and I want to get started with the light language so I'll be taking you through a grounded grounding meditation activation where we're centering where we're connecting with the earth connecting with our bodies and then I'll open the channeling the door to the channeling um, for those of you who are new to light language um, it's something to be felt with your heart and your body more so than with your understood by your mind um, but many many people have a deep resonance a deep deep recognition about this seed language really um, so and everyone has their own light medicine whether it's light language or their own light their own divinity that they shine and share um, so once the light language starts I'm going to be speaking toning singing um, moving my hands moving my body um, sometimes just a little bit of a word about the disparate energy or discordant songs that come through um, I always wondered about those too because sometimes they sound really wonky um, and my a friend of mine who studied uh, sound healing with um, indigenous tribes said that the um, the discordancies are like the overlay of energy that's getting shaken up um, and addressed with the sound um, so on that note too if you feel that you need to move your body or the energy is stuck somewhere or needs to move or you need to make sounds go for it move with your hands move with your body move with your voice um, and so I'm ready to get started um, sonic healing I just like to start with this quote sonic healing is a bridge between the seen and the unseen realms So, let's all take some really, really deep, deep, deep breaths. <sighs> and imagining from your seat a cord, a connection that moves down from the seat a little bit bigger than your butt but not so big that you would fall in it's hollow looks a little bit like a fire hose but imagine that it slowly slowly begins to descend down 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 through the floor of the room in which you sit breaking through the crust of our beautiful, beautiful Mother Earth and down through the dirt and the rocks and down through the inner atmosphere of Mother Earth passing through her heart and landing magnetically connecting at the core the magnetic core of the mother where it clicks in 
and that grounding cord that the cord that is at your seat begins to be set on release anything that is released from the body will easily and peacefully that is ready to go will peacefully move down the grounding cord and into the core of the mother feeding her feeding her transformation with our transformation and imagining now your feet begin to do the same little grounding little rootlets out of your toes and your heels and your arches down 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 into the earth where they join those little rootlets join with the mother right at the core and right next to your grounding your large your larger grounding cord and from this space the core of the earth the space of true grounding as human beings here on the earth begin to look up and see the beautiful stars, the divinity above, the energy of the sun and the moon, almost exactly in opposition, almost exactly peaking attention, the Pisces sun and the purification of the Virgo moon. Imagining your personal divinity, your personal connection with whatever divine is yours, is your signature. It's coming down through the atmosphere of the earth and into your crown and all the way through your body out the grounding cord and down into the earth feeding the mother with the light bringing heaven the heavens down to earth And now that we're grounded and our energy is running, begin to imagine you're laying upon the heart of the mother, sinking your heartbeat, slowing your heartbeat down to join with hers. And as you slow down, every color the vibrancy of every color in the multidimensional universe flashing like the aurora borealis or the northern lights dancing in the sky in its brilliant vibrancy you're embracing and syncing up with the mother leaning into mother earth with your eyes with your heart with your third eye as you heal yourself as you become more light as you take more light into your physical bodies you heal enlighten enliven mother earth And she does the same for us. And now you can remain there on the heart of the mother. You can turn 
around and look at the sky, at the stars, at the beings who are always here for us, opening. I now call upon the overlighting presence of the great mother goddess, great father spirit and my direct ancestral line of light. I call upon my highest self presence and all benevolent beings of light that serve the highest good. I am here, I am ready, I am open, I am open to make benevolent contact with beings of light and love who have clear guidance for us today. I ask that this contact be for the highest and best good at this time. Thank you. I received an English message, a message in English from Venus this morning. And I will read that now to begin. I'm here for the return of all the cherished wonders, beloveds. The deep seed of the goddess that is buried within all of us. I swim in the deep oceans of the feminine mysteries that are within all of you. The magic that is birthing the radiant promise of a purity of love like no other. Hmm. The love that simply needs an invitation and a preparation for its entry into this world. and for it to rise. Rise, 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 love, now. Awaken the seeds within all who are ready and all who have prepared already and assist us in the preparation <clears throat> for those who are on the cusp. Olonti shanga yalatari amboyandi ungori ti shiro pondi alata umbundi ai alanduri ki Umbundi ai alantori ki, shinti kombu ti alatori tambuko ti ondi ai, i alatori shi tambundi ai, alatori shi tambundi ai, konti alatatoni apai, konti alatatoni apai, isi toraposhin garatai ala, i shanga tiki mpush tingirai, Un poshiando toroti paiala, un poroshitata to tombi aitala toromboya. Iki ti 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 ti
Importan ya rutimbi kondisiti do pondia yala. Un poro tampo kayandi. I on dia singon boy. Rundi sa kambori ti. Ikti tondi. Ikti tondi. Ikti tondi. Un po yandala tandi a shonki. Shonko yala tondi a shonki. Ikro titi toro bo titi toro mbuko kicho toro konti asha toto. Urundi a kandi asha ondi 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 ti kikoro ti ombo. Uruti ara tondi ara ti shiti. Onkori ta toro mboya la. Onkori ta toro mboya la ta. Tire tombi aira tombi o iom bora ti. Shikori tomboraya. Shikori tomboraya tata. Onyora ti amyore milia. Mburi ti ombro ti asandia karandiala. Iro ti. Iro ti. Iti on post. Iti on post. Aka un da 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 do urti mea. Rundi a da 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 o un po da ya do rundi a ya la. Iki ro shundi a ma. I kundi a karumbiola. Iki ro mpoi a tara to rumbiaka. O ti amboro ti a ma. Shiro boi a na. Shiro boi a la la la. Ora poro ti arara, ora poro ndi olo la la. I ti rompoi andi ora mboi ara poro pore ta ti a papa. I apa? I apo ndi ara. Excuse me. Shondia kampata Frutia 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 Andia mba kashata Ukinda trumbia Andia rapi Iomboya Tanambia Urutiomboya lala Urumbia Ria Yakundia Ishindi Nidididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididididid
Rutti Stan Rutti Stan Fuf Ian Yai Ian Yai Ala Rumbi and Yash Tinky Tea Oi and Diamonds, 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 the diamond star energy filling your hands, pouring over your hands and into your hands, the diamond starlight. Pouring them over your head, filling your body, your chakras with the diamonds, the diamond energy, placing the diamond energy in your field, in your aura in your chakras Yashtondi korati sharapi ngiora shondi ara korati shiratorom boroyata ayala ton yayana in the light the starlight of your heart shine Aya londiara ti 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 May the starlight of your core fuel you directly into your heart through your soul's connection in your body each chakra with their own diamond shaped star to be turned on to be awakened sanabi as we turn the light on sanabi on the appa india kondoro chishikuru tindia puroi Turning the lights one by one, your own chakras turn on the star diamond light in the chakras turning on brighter and brighter moving down to the throat oruti <coughs> akandiyarati <coughs> speaking our truth knowing our truth in our bodies knowing 
what resonates and flows in with our truth and flows out with the truth and what doesn't. Olon diakayam bori shikarati o tingia turumbia shodo dio kondia tondi ai. Releasing all the discordancies that go along with the fears of speaking our truth and stepping into our own authenticity, vulnerably standing before each other, naked, with our hearts and souls shining through our voices, through our eyes. Mm. The hearts are turned on, the lights are on, they are shining. The soul, the diamond star soul. The diamond star core and the diamond star core root to the earth. And the earth star chakra moving all the way down through the chakra system of the mother earth. I am Bori Tishi Kondi Ata Ta 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 Sitting in our authenticity with the DNA codes activated and the lights turned on more brightly, more accessible, both in ourselves, in our group, and in Mother Earth. Mm. She says, thank you. And her say her way of saying thank you is with her beauty, with her abundance, with the sunshine reflecting off the snow or the waters. There are a million ways that Mother Earth says thank you to us. And now sitting back in our seats and looking above. The moon goddess would like to speak, would like to remind you she is approaching her fullness. She speaks to you through her silvery ray vibrations that fall upon the night sky and down into the earth as service to humanity, to our collective emotional healing and cleansing in this Virgo energy.
imagine yourself looking up in love, gratitude, and appreciation for the moon and the sun and all they have to offer. And of course, to the earth for her massive support and unconditional love. And slowly returning into this room. Um, I don't see any comments here. Bringing yourself back. If anyone has any questions or anything they'd like to ask or share, I would love to open to that. Well, I hope I'm in the right place. I don't see any comments here, but um, I can feel the beautiful energy of all of you who will watch this and experience and receive and all of you it looks like there are some people watching now so thank you thank you thank you it's been my honor and privilege to share whatever came through uh, for you all today for my my ingredients for the energy soup and um, yeah, I'm supposed to say something else. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget because my energy is just so vibrant, vibrating and um, alive and filled with so much love. Um, ah, I'm supposed to say who comes after me. And that would be Jasmine Renee and activating your sovereignty codes, which I think goes really perfect with um, everything we just received here. So thank you everyone. And um, I look forward to hearing um, your comments or to seeing your comments and, and knowing how this affect, you know, how you received this, how it affected you. Uh, don't forget to drink a lot of water that was a lot of energy that just came through. And up here above the, um, the video, it says how you can find me. And that is on Facebook as Sue Pagan or Instagram as Sue Pagan underscore light underscore language or email Sue Pagan light language at gmail.com. My website is under construction and not ready yet, but soon to be, soon to come. Thank you again, Abigail, for this beautiful container.